Good job by Dan Vladar in his first NHL start to get us the victory on our Boston Bruins bet last night. As I said in my long rant in yesterday's video, I was sick of this losing skid and I'm glad the Bruins answered the call. My name is Professor MJ and I teach statistics to university students in Canada. Now, what is my top NHL pick for Wednesday, March 17? The answer is the Edmonton Oilers at plus 110 odds or 2.10 in decimal playing in Calgary. This pick is probably not a surprise to anyone that knows me well, as I often use a contrarian approach. Edmonton has been struggling of late, while Calgary is doing well. More specifically, the Oilers are meeting the criteria for betting under two of my 10 NHL betting systems, the stingy goalies and also the scoring drought. In case you're interested, let me remind you how the stingy goalies strategy works. First, you must find a team that has won its past three games by allowing a maximum of three goals in each of those victories. That's the case of the Flames, who have won their past three matchups by allowing three, one, and one goals respectively. If that team is playing at home tonight, you must bet against them. But there's one exception. Based on historical data, you should avoid teams whose money line is weaker than minus 135 in American format or 1.74 in decimal. They have not performed well enough in the past to warrant placing a wager on them. This betting angle has generated a 6.8% ROI over close to 1,000 bets in the past. Wow! Don't forget that Edmonton will also be looking to avenge a 4-3 loss suffered two days ago against those same Calgary Flames. For these reasons, I really like the Oilers in this spot. If you like the college basketball March Madness tournament, check out my first pick that I posted yesterday on the Drake vs Wichita State game. Keep in mind that my NCAA basketball picks went 115, 86, and 7 this season, so we had nice success. Simply click the card that's appearing right now in the bottom left corner of your screen. I'm Professor MJ, the University Statistics Professor, saying so long, man.